Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about seven secrets that the Proverbs 31 woman lives her life by. These are only seven of the secrets that makes her a Proverbs 31 woman. And these seven secrets helps her obey the most high's laws, statues, and commandments. The Proverbs 31 woman found a way to live in this world and not be a part of this world. This is how the Proverbs 31 woman shows respect to her father. The most high, he created the heavens and the earth. He is her power. So if you are interested in watching more, then definitely stay tuned. Throughout this video, I'm going to share with you seven secrets of the Proverbs 31 woman. These seven secrets cover seven different ways that she shows her father the most high that she loves him and that she cares. She understands that she is rare and that she comes from a peculiar people. The Proverbs 31 woman knows that the Most High, the creator of the heavens and the earth, wants her to live her life set apart from this world. She is a woman that lives her life following the Most High's laws, statues, and commandments to the best of her ability. So let's dive deeper into just seven secrets that the Proverbs 31 woman follows that keeps her on that narrow road. That road that is hard to travel in this wicked world. And one of the reasons why that Proverbs 31 woman is rare and hard to find is that this world doesn't hold the Proverbs 31 woman on a pedestal. This wicked world shines a light on and glorifies the woman of ill repute. That woman of ill repute is not hard to find because she is thrown in your face 24-7. As the standard for women and girls to follow in life, the Proverbs 31 woman never forgets that she has enemies. Enemies that know that she is one of the most highest chosen people. She understands not to trust her enemies because their media will never present her with something good. All right, so these are only seven of the secrets that the Proverbs 31 woman uses to keep her life clean so that she can continue to have her true power working in her life. And that power comes from her father, the Most High. He created the heavens and the earth. Okay, so the first secret of the Proverbs 31 woman is her attire. The clothes that she wears. She doesn't dress like everyone else. If you were to look into her closet, you will notice that she is different. She has her own style, and that is decent and in order. She knows that she is set apart and that she comes from a bloodline of the chosen people. She understands that she is rare and uncommon. The Proverbs 31 woman stands out in a crowd because she is not dressed like everyone else. She pays attention to what this wicked world is presenting to her as the way that women should dress. But she simply wears the opposite. Their tricks don't work on her. The Proverbs 31 woman understands that the best always has style, and her style and class comes from the most high. The Proverbs 31 woman understands that her father set the standard. So she must be the standard. She is the daughter of the Most High. Her father created the heavens and the earth. He is her power. The second secret of the Proverbs 31 woman is that she has no idols in her life. She doesn't bring idols into her home under the name of decoration. She doesn't have ornaments, knickknacks, trinkets, crosses, dream catchers, or any kind of statues in her house. She doesn't have idols in her life. The Proverbs 31 woman understands that her father is jealous. She doesn't keep up with these so-called stars. She knows that they are just rats and that they are bought and paid for by her enemies to destroy her people. The Proverbs 31 woman pays attention to all of the idols that this wicked world presents to her and she doesn't take part. That is how she can live in this world and not be a part of this world. She never forgets that she has enemies that are trying to keep her away from her true power. The Most High, he created the heavens and the earth he is her father. The third secret to the Proverbs 31 woman is that she accepts and embraces her natural beauty. She understands that she has the superior hair and skin on this earth. She knows that she is set apart, that she is made in her father's image. The Proverbs 31 woman understands that she is one of the most highest chosen people. She knows that she comes from a special bloodline of melanin people and that the Most High gave her what the other nations wish they had. The Proverbs 31 woman knows that her people are the salt of this earth. She pays attention to what her enemies are presenting to her, but their tricks don't work on her. She appreciates her natural and superior beauty. She understands that she is the standard of beauty. She looks like her father the Most High. He is her power and he created the heavens and the earth. The fourth secret of the Proverbs 31 woman is her diet. She understands that there are dietary laws that she must follow. She knows that, as the Most High's daughter, there is a standard to what she can and cannot eat. She understands that what she eats has to be set apart. The Proverbs 31 woman knows that she is special to her father and that his laws are only there to keep her healthy and clean. She pays attention to what this wicked world is presenting to her in their media. And she simply doesn't eat it. Their tricks don't work on her. 
The Proverbs 31 woman doesn't trust her enemies. She understands that anything that her enemies are trying to sell her on is there to keep her in sin and to separate her from her power, her Father, the Most High, the Creator of the heavens and the earth. The fifth secret of the Proverbs 31 woman is that she has learned to live without family and friends. It doesn't mean that she doesn't love them. She just loves them from afar. She understands that if they are not walking in the same direction, on that narrow road towards the Most High, she has to leave them behind. The Proverbs 31 woman knows that she has a new family and with them she can make new friends that love her father the Most High. She is trying to find a way out of this wicked world and back to her father the Most High. He created the heavens and the earth and he is her true power. The sixth secret of the Proverbs 31 woman is that she does not celebrate their holidays or birthdays. She understands that she is to live her life set apart from this world and that the Most High has special days for her to celebrate. She understands that their so-called holidays that her enemies are presenting to her to celebrate and worship were not made to benefit her and her people. The Proverbs 31 woman understands that this wicked world's so-called holidays are only hell days to her. This is how she can live in this world and not be of this world. She understands that her Father created the heavens and the earth. He is her power. He is the Most High. The seventh secret to the Proverbs 31 woman is that she is a homebody. She knows that the Most High wants her at home. She understands that her father knows what is best for her. She has a curfew for the way she lives her life. Anything that she has to take care of outside of her home, she does it during the daylight hours. You will never find her out in a bar or a nightclub. The Proverbs 31 woman has standard for the way she lives her life. And those standards come from her father. She understands that she is the Most High's daughter and that she has to live her life set apart from all wickedness. She understands what it means to be the daughter of the highest. He is the Most High. He created the heavens and the earth and her power. The Proverbs 31 woman knows that this world is ran by the wicked, and the wicked disdains her father and that they are her enemies. She will never trust. Anything that this wicked world presents to her, she understands that they are working for their father, Satan, and that they are full of lies. The Proverbs 31 woman understands that with her father's powers she is royal, because she lives her life to please her father. There is no one else like him. He is the Most High, the Creator of the heavens and the earth. And he is her power. So, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like and a comment. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe until next time.